Hello everyone, Attack Power here with another game from the Generals Tournament here between Barbaran and Homeyun. Let's dive right in here to Tannenberg. And on the left in the red, we have Barbaran playing 2nd Indian Head Infantry on Maverick Income. And on the right in the blue, we have Homeyun playing 715th Infantry also on Maverick Income. So two very strong divisions here. Actually, I feel like we've seen this, this, this matchup a few times now. I played it twice. I actually had this matchup twice, I think, now. and Oh, no, I didn't have it twice. No, we just seen a lot of 715th. I did play this. This is the one where I played the number one guy. Go check that video out. It was awesome. Uh, but, yeah, diving into the decks here, we have uh, Barian here. I, I don't know how to say his name. Whatever. Uh, on second infantry. Uh, so, Recon Tab, really solid here with the range of Marauders. Really great bazooka unit M8s for early rush. He's not vetting those. Kind of surprising, actually. Um, the infantry tab. Pretty low with only 58 infantry for Maverick deck is fine. Although for Maverick Mirror, uh, usually this is pretty low because Maverick Mirrors have a tendency of going long. But we see the Rangers broken up between A and B phase. Those are pretty fantastic units now with their commando trait, Rangers LMG, rifles early there in A phase, B phase. We get two cards of rifles late and then a vetted card of demolition group in C phase. Interesting to see that. <clears throat> One of the better CQC units in the deck, though, outside of the Rangers. Tank Tap, not much to say here. M4A1s, M4, uh, Stewart's, and the card of Rhinos. Support Tab, he's actually bringing out that Ranger HMC, which we haven't seen in a long time. This this unit used to be, like, super meta. Uh, if you play this deck, you played this unit. Uh, we don't see it much anymore, but here we're seeing it back, so let's see if it brings back its old glory. Uh, M4A3 for the 2K, and then the Howitzer in B phase for more 2K fun. The AT tab, the entire spattering here, we have the M1 gun, the M1, A1, uh, the M10, excuse me, tank destroyer with his APCR, the Hellcat in B phase for lots of speedy cheese, and the M5 gun A, just bofers. Artie tab, Pretty loaded up here, but a uh, 60 mil mortar, the 81 mil mortar, the long tom and B, and then a B phase card of off map 203. Air tab, pretty light here, which is the P47 bomber variant and AT rocket variant. On the other side here, 715th infantry, a very strong division out of Men of Steel. Uh, pretty well rounded with a couple of weaknesses, but nothing that's like, like entire tab sucking or anything like that uh the recon tab here really strong you have the decima uh esplatori in b phase with their berettas and grenades you have some alf clear here and we have the as 42 20 mil actually really surprised he's not bringing the panzer two. big mistake in my opinion that unit is phenomenal uh the infantry tab here we see the luftwaffe jaeger fabulous fanatical unit pioneers 15 um panzer grenadier 41 he's bringing the panzer Gren 41 PZB and B phase. Not 100% sure of that. I don't know why you wouldn't just switch those between A and B phase because the because the the Panzer Bush is is terrible. Um, the <laughs> excuse me, still consistently working through whatever this is. Tank tab here we see two cards of double that Tiger and B. Very interesting there. A phase Tigers, a Stug and the Pan, uh, Panzer P40 card. Uh, IG18, IG. 33 and Sturm Panzer 4 in the support tab with two cards of machine guns as well. He's bringing two elephant cards in. That seems like a lot. Especially against second US, which doesn't have a lot of capability of killing these in the first place. Although their APCR very well could get the better of these things. Um, yeah, I don't know. I just don't feel like there's a lot of place on this map other than what side is it on this this game um, in the north for that to be useful? A tab bringing the twenty mil instead of the SDK of Z seven one a total mistake in my opinion. Like I couldn't hate that choice more. Uh, RD tab he's bringing the one twenty two, uh, not bringing the Lorraines. I actually kind of hate this build of this deck. I'm not gonna lie. Foggerwolf one ninety, Foggerwolf nine eight eight six fighter and a Do two seventeen in the air tab. Let's dive right in here. Let's see if Homeyun is punished for this build. I I do not like that build at all. I'm not gonna lie. I know I have my way of building things, but I feel like he's missing some really key units. The, the Artie being a massive one. The Lorraine is phenomenal. I don't know why you would take the, the 122 at all over that. Uh, and the Panzer II, a fantastic recon unit. Um, so really just strange choices. In my opinion, of course. Homeman is a very good player, though, so it's I'm, I'm sure he's got his reasons. Off Cloud... Barely survives, but does get away in time. This machine gun getting immediately pushed off. We see almost nothing going to the center. Uh, so one of the big weaknesses for uh, 715 is their A phase is not super strong. They don't really have any good CQC. They have these cheap pioneers, which is nice, but they're not good pioneers. Like They, they aren't good. Um, they really do suck. Um, 
they are a pioneer, though. They throw a grenade, so that makes them okay, at least. But you have no flamers, so you have no flamers in any to work with. Um, you don't get any flame units at all in the deck. Uh, which is definitely like a definitely a negative. Like your your grenade tossing units and your Dechima, which are basically just some machine gun squads, are very good, but they don't beat like good flamer units. IG eighteen trying to beat the fifty cal here. Will it have a chance? Not sure. The fifty cal is actually losing. I'm kind of shocked. Fifty cal's rarely ever lose. <clears throat> Their almighty dominance of the universe, somewhat uncontested. But the Panzergren successfully pushing forward here. The Panzergren 41s are basically just better Panzergrens. It's just, it's a sad but perfect example of the power creep of the game. You basically just get a bigger Panzergren squad for the exact same price, for no particular reason whatsoever. Like, this unit is just flat out better than a normal Panzergren, with no negative at all. <laughs> no loss of availability, no anything, or veteran C or anything. It's just better. Just because it is. Lufthansa Jaeger here in the middle, getting crushed by these M8s. Flamethrower pushing through. See a 60 mil mortar going to town. These things can be extremely annoying and can make it very easy to win every infantry combat. Homie and doing what Fox Clan people do, just pushing. This is what people in the Fox Clan do. I'm not saying for bad or bad or good, but this is what you always see their play being. They push and then they push. And then they push. And then if that doesn't work, they push. Defense is not really in their vocab. Stewart goes down to the P40 there. P40 is very cost efficient. This Tiger is going to take out the 60 mil mortar. That's actually a really nice kill. M10 and APCR missing its first shot on the P40 here. Second shot landing, of course, gets a crew panicked. The APCR and American units is pretty insane it's the only 2k apcr in the game it gets crits like it's no tomorrow now all apcr technically has higher chances of crit but i would love for someone to tell me if american apcr gets even more crit rate because it often feels it does i'm not saying it does for sure because i don't know but anyone who knows the game really well better than me like the secret stats does american apcr have a higher crit rate than regular apcr i'd love to know I mean, it's better, obviously, because it's 2K just to start. But So M8s being super annoying. M8s are pretty fantastic. I had someone ask early, like, a couple days ago in the comments, are M8s worth it? The answer is absolutely yes. They need to be babysat. But, like, if you can babysit them, they are s disgustingly cost-efficient, can kill things way above their weight class, and they have a 50 cal. So that makes them instantly fantastic at killing infantry. M4A3 tossing a heat shell. Misses. Homie needs to back this 20 mil up. These things are phenomenal. You do not want to lose these. Not even because of the air AA ability, which is not that big of a deal to start. They just chop things down. He got two chances here. Still hasn't noticed. Machine Gun actually takes out the Flamethrower, who did not get close enough. M10 it looks like it took a hit from the Tiger. I believe it did. Nah. Uh, eh. Yes. Yes, it did. Tiger gets a hit on the M4A3. Killing these would be huge, getting rid of that 2K HE. He does knock it out in time. Tiger misses. Oh, that slow fire rate. <laughs> Rifle's leader does have a bazooka, so he's got to be careful, but Homeyun making great progress here down south. Tiger. Oh, Tiger. Oh, I really hope in this upcoming, like, super patch DLC thing that is, like, apparently going to, like, change the game completely. I really hope they make the Tiger one round per minute faster. I really do. It totally changes the game for this unit. Or give it 5% more accuracy. Do that. That's fine, too. I don't think that's as significant, personally, but at least it's something. So this little bubble here that Barbarian is holding on to, slowly closing. These Rangers, though, are going to wreck these Pioneers. With the Commando trait and the Thompsons, they absolutely shred. Yeah, look at that. Oh, my goodness. Wow, one of them got a grenade off. It was two on one, and they actually did get a grenade off. Homie in on the 1410. <laughs> I am so sorry about that. I really am. I wish I could stop. 
I do not have time to find the mute button every time, though. M4A3 taking shots, but it has higher armor, so I doubt it's going down. And I spoke too soon. I think the Pack 40 got it, honestly. Let's see. Yeah, maybe not. I don't know. <clears throat> Panzer P40, though. Great unit at 90 millimeter pressure, 17 or 50 meter range. One of the cheapest units in the game at that range. Will it pick up a Ranger here? Arian making some big mistakes, but he's trying to make up for it by pushing up north, and there's not much to stop him here. Oh, just kidding. There's a Tiger. <clears throat> Off Clara. Does get spotted. Oh man, only on a 13-11 though, despite this pretty significant salient. As a transport does go down, we're not in B phase yet. Truthfully, 715 doesn't really take off until it gets to B phase and it gets its Dechima and you know dangerous folks like that. Rangers LMG slapping. He might actually capture his flag over here with the Ranger LMG. That Tiger doesn't reposition far enough over. Pack 40 should go down any second. What do these guys have? Ah, uh, they just have an M a carbine and a semi automatic It's going to take a little bit. Down thing, down south, things kind of stabilizing here. Not a lot of red troops on the map, though. But then again, not a ridiculous number of blue troops, either. As we see both 20 mils come out, along with the basically the remainder of the Luftwaffe Jaegers. Some smoke comes down to smoke off these hard units here. And the Ranger can't get by the AT shield. Stewart goes down to the P-40. The other thing with the P-40, it does do 8 damage, which means it, you know, kills light things pretty easily. It's not like a Stuart that takes more shots. Barbara Ann here about to pick up a 1311, though. Very impressive. I mean, so far, it's felt like Homo yoon has been in the driver's seat. But the fact is, he doesn't actually really have much of an advantage at all. Now, the question is, has his, have, has, have his trades been good enough to make up for that flag? Not, like, not having a huge flag advantage. Heat shell got a shooter knockout on the tiger. It's a pretty big crit at this moment in time. Stewart goes down. Heat shell away again. No, just kidding. <clears throat> My goodness. Why? Have I not been sick long enough? See, like, I don't understand what Homeyun's goal here is. <laughs> There is a point where I feel like the Foxes are overly aggressive to an unnecessary point. Unnecessary point. This would be one of those examples. Just took a breather, holds these flags, you know, maybe moves up to try to grab this one. He's probably not going to be able to get this one and hold it. Like, it's not really realistic. P-47 coming in for the Panzergren. The 20 mils are not unloaded. Didn't he call in two? Yeah, there's one. One is unloaded, but again, if this was a SDK at 7-1, he would have stopped this and probably killed it. So I don't understand this, Colin. I really don't. Homian still can't pick up the double tick, and his aggression is starting to bite him a little bit. He's losing a lot of units, making these random pushes and driving transports as deep as physically possible. Half track shoots at this pioneer instead of that one, and now the P40 going to finish off that half. Nope, just kidding. He found the 60 mil mortar. Uh, Barbarian put out in the open, and Homeun finally has his 15-9 with a grab of a flag down south. Ranger unloaded back here. I get. I understand he doesn't want to drive it this way, so I do understand why it's back here. You better start moving it though. Now Homeun's aggression here it looks like it's starting to get there. 
He 47 with the AT Rockets coming in. Loses line of sight on the Tiger. Oof. <clears throat> Has Ariane like given up the South? It's kind of what it feels like. Half track making a run. It does get away. Does this see that transport? Yeah, it does apparently. I don't see how it magically saw that, but yeah, it is what it is. <clears throat> yeah, it really feels like he's just not trying here. Is there like a hill or something? How does this like have such a weird line of sight? And one gun goes down. Now the Focke Wolf can just strafe whatever it wants. I mean, he could just move one unit here and get these flags back. I think that's definitely a mistake. Thing is, again, you can never hope that a, a Fox player is going to just, like, give you a second. Or ever going to, like, leave a flag alone in the hope that, like, oh, maybe he just won't push there. They always push. DO217 coming in. That mate futilely try to hold that back. E47 coming with the bombing strike. No AA up here. Let's force that off. Should capture this flag back at least. P47 could have gone after this two DO217. Probably would have been worth it, honestly. Pretty easy kill, I think. P47 loses line of sight again, and now will die to the Focke Wolf. Oh. Oh, that's bad. All right, we're going to try the P47 thing. What? I mean, it worked, but what? There's a lot of A down south. I wonder if Ariane knew that. Back to a 12-12? Seriously? <laughs> yeah, this is a front line, all right. I'm not even sure how Barb keeps getting more reinforcements into this pocket. Rocker Wolf is just here. Finally see some units sort of moving down to the south. The Tiger's still alive. Rangers finally finish off that Pioneer. Keep it at 12-12. I, I mean, I feel like Homian's trading much better. Pantagrand's looking to capture this stuff finally back. What is, what is he doing? <laughs> Why is he out there? Panzergram pushing forward. Howitzer going, trying to get into a position, but it's going to get unloaded or killed or both. Bofors 40 mil might take out the Focke Wolf. Now it loses range there. Howitzer unloaded Panzergram right in range, though. It's going to hurt. Ow, 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 ow. Ranger swinging back to try to save the day. Howitzer can't get a single shot off. Tiger now in. M5 gun, though, gets the transmission damage. Not the crit I'm sure he was hoping for. Ranger in, though, to kill this Panzergren, which should flip that flag. Still 14-10 for Homeun. We are halfway through B phase. Shug took a penetration. Dechima Esplatori coming on in. He actually has... Oh, my God. I, I didn't even, like, like acknowledge this when I saw the deck. He doesn't have any regular Dechima at all. Just the B-Phase. Just, just the Recon ones, which are better. They have a grenade. I acknowledge that. But to have none at all, like, not even one card. He, he left a one-point infantry slot open. What is this deck? Oh, I hate it so much. 
Like, he could have regular detriment to just dominate the center. Oh, Stug actually missed the Hellcat. That's huge. Gives the Hellcat another opportunity. Kills off the Stug. I mean, that's a great trade for the Hellcat. P-47 can't decide where to go. It's just going to get forced off by the AA. Yeah, I'm not sure what the point of this was. Another Hellcat coming in. Rangers in. I mean, Rangers are great, but I don't think they beat three Deshima. M8s are around, doing the work, and the thing is these Esplatori don't actually have AT. The regular Dechima do, but these do not. They have the HE grenade instead. I still can't believe he's only 1311. Barb here barely holding on. Yeah, I'm just calling him Barb because I can't decide exactly how to say his name. Sounds like Barb. Barb. I feel like it's an angry grandma name. Barb. So the Rangers run into the Pantagrens, which is great for them. Triple star Ranger here. I mean, if he 1v1s this Dechima, I think the Rangers actually win. I don't know if the Dechima get their grenade off in time. Like, Triple Star is so strong. Okay, I'm not sure why he's swinging this all the way back. It's really actually kind of weird. And it's 12-12. Holy bajoli, Hellcat's still alive. 105 trying to get set up. Tiger takes out the Hellcat. I mean, you can't really depend on these Hellcats to, like, totally solo these Tigers. They're really better in a group. Like a wolf pack, a Hellcat pack. Rangers crush the Panzergren, but the Dechima get off their grenade and take out the Ranger. That's the problem with the Rangers, a small squad, so uh, it does go down to a singular grenade. This Ranger not as dangerous. It does not have the triple star, but the P-47 does get through on the Tiger. This Ranger is doomed on the 2v1. And the 105 is now in position. Is it ground attacking? No. It sees the MG42. Hellcat goes down to a singular shot of that Tiger. IG-33 still alive in its transport. Awkward. And this flag should flip. Freaking Barb is somehow ahead at a 1311. Just doesn't feel like he should be. Fogwolf is able to get by the air AA screen, takes out that key 105. 2017 strike falls flat. But now Barb has re reinforced his hold here in the center. Some of the Rangers don't see this. There we go. Yeah, the, the lines of sight on Tannenberg are so strange in this center. Like, there's so many hills and stuff that kind of F with the line of sight. Where it looks like your unit is literally standing next to someone and apparently they're not. Or they're at like a different incline so they don't see them. Oh man, had a 15-9 momentarily, lost it again as this Pantagram just punches into the center of the line here. Well, center of the line is a loose way to term it. I mean, look at this thing. Look at this line. Rifles looking to reconnect and they do successfully. <laughs> Jesus. What is this? I didn't even notice this rifle card coming in on the M3A1s, which means these guys are just everywhere. This might be the one time the AT rifle is more useful, maybe? Tough to say. Surprised this thing's not firing, it's moving instead. Kind of infuriating for home, uh, for Barb. Needs to take out this SDK of Z to recapture this easy flag for him. Rifle's late getting in, though, with their M3A1. Tiger is hunting. Still feels like anyone's game. Yeah, Homeyun's ahead, for sure, but I don't know. I'm not really sure. My watch is telling me to stand. Apparently, when I have my hand on the keyboard, it doesn't count that as standing. 
Because I am standing. I'm at a standing desk. It's kind of annoying. That's fine, watch. Lie to me. Tell me I suck when I don't. Barb feels confident enough to call in an 81 mil mortar. He's called in several 60 mil mortars, but those are pretty those are a pretty light commitment. I'm surprised these units haven't seen each other. That's actually really weird. Because they're very close. The rifles early could easily pop out. They they would win because the Panzergrins are out of cover. The mortal sin is being committed here. These M8s are not in a good spot here. But Homayun with his usual giga aggressive reinforcement style. These Dechima Esplatori don't actually hold the line, which is awkward. M8s are out of 50 cal ammo, so they're not super great against infantry anymore. Panzergrad is in range of the Panzerfaust. Barber loses one of his M8s. P47 does get a bombing strike off. I don't know where, though. Engineers getting a little aggressive. Take one of the Dechima with them, though. Can't really sustain that trade forever. Yeah, left APCR on. That was not a good idea, honestly. 60 mils out of ammo, and it doesn't look like it's getting re re -for uh, supplied anytime soon. Pantagram gets surrendered by the M3A1. Fogwell coming in to hit that M5 gun. Is there AA down here now? It does not look like it, but the 40 mil Bofors is pretty far forward and does catch the Focke-Wolf out. P-47 coming for a bombing strike. Unfortunately, it's just going to hit the two-man Dechima squad. Actually, doesn't hit anything, really. Rangers caught out in the open. What the hell were these guys doing here? Like Honestly, why would you call in this unit here? Homie, and back to a 15-9, though. Barely. <laughs> But it looks like Barb's push here in the center finally getting cr crumpled. Will the P-47 get the strike off? The Flak-36 is on target, which means the rockets probably won't kill the Tiger unless it's already damaged. And it was, and down the Tiger goes. It's a pretty big kill. But Barb has so little in the south. I don't know how he, he, I mean, he can't hold this flag just from a single Panzergren. The fact that Bofors is not shooting this Focke Wolf is really weird. And the Focke Wolf should die now. It's a bad resilience fighter. And even if it was medium against a two star Bofors, I don't think it lives. Yep, down it goes. So, I mean, Barb's getting some pretty big kills here. Demolition Group just flies into the town. Yeah, that was a little wasteful. Not going to lie. He's pulling a home unit and just going for it. The problem is losing this big salient he had here has lost him several flags that were keeping him in the game. Don't think 60 mil mortars are the answer. I think he needs like some actual direct units. Problem is now the pack for is which is this M5 gun has its HE turned off. Uh, just leave the HE on and get over it. 105 though, that'll do some work. Rangers get spotted finally. IG-33 sees them I assume? Oh, oh yes. Oh, these poor rangers. Run, rangers, run. Rifle leader's going to go down to the Dechima. Yeah, that's not good. 15-9, though. 60 mil mortar going. 105, lost sight of it. I mean, Barb is just continuing his push up north. There's, the problem is there's not really any flags to capture here up all the way back here, but that that's really deep. That feels like a big stretch at this point. I do think Homie even moves, used up like all of his Dechima, though. I mean, he called it a lot of Esplatori. Not sure how many more he could have. 105 does not manage to get any good hits there. Another Ranger Marauder. This one's still alive, actually. Surprised the Alpha Claire hasn't spotted it. Ranger has nothing to shoot it. That is possible. All right, so this finally starts fighting as the Pandragons get absolutely wrecked because they're standing out of cover. IG-33 lands a big hit on the 105. That's the end of that. 60 mil mortar does see the Alphclare. I mean, not the 60 mil mortar, of course. The recon spots it. 
60 Memora trying to capitalize. 50 cows hitting the Pantagrens. But out in the open, not even the 50 cow can survive. Esplatori actually out of grenades here. Wow, it survived long enough to throw three grenades. That's pretty huge. Falcon will strike down south, weakens those infantry. Oh, I hate Maverick mirrors. Maverick's so dumb. Either of these guys have been balanced. Oh, easy win. Although, of course, the argument is made. Barb would have been out of the game if only Omayun played balanced. Omayun well, would have probably won if he played balanced. Things were going well enough in A phase, B phase without even, like, an income advantage. Pack 40 does go down. Pantagrand just standing out in the open. Surprised he cannot see that. Oh, those rifles late have no chance. Another half-track cheese push here. Can't stop, won't stop. Evolution Group, what is the long-range firepower? He's got no LMG, but he does have a lot of semi-automatic rifles. Rifles late here, probably going to die to the Stug, I would imagine. No, misses the first shot. Won't miss the second, though. Nope. Falkwell's doing a lot of damage. No AA down south. It doesn't really have the points to invest in it. Pantagrens with their MGs are winning these longer range engagements as they should. It looks like Homie Yoon might have this game locked up. <coughs> a P-47 strike that had no target, so it came in at a stupid angle, and now it's really going to fly directly over this flak. I'm going to lose that P-47, I would think. The double flaks, while they're not great at stopping bombing strikes, they do kill things. Nope. Should have gotten SD Caves at 7 1. This was. Don't understand that. And I'm sure there's reasons for it. I just don't think they're good enough reasons to pick that over a 7 1. Rhino on Stug action here. Rhino should still get a shot off. Looks like they're going to trade. Um, just kidding. They both bounce. Okay, that's one way to do it, I guess. Now they'll trade? Nope. That's okay, they'll both bounce again. 18-6 now for Homeyun. Oof. There the shit goes down. I was say. <coughs> P-47 going straight in for to the AA net, and now I think it'll die. I really do. Caster Curse will make me wrong, but I really think it'll die. Yeah, okay. If four double vet AA pieces couldn't do it, okay, three in a single vet can't do the kill. I I don't know what would kill them. <clears throat> M5 gun goes down to the IG-18. 19-5, and that's a win here for Homeun. 7-15th, showing its strength again. Clapping a very strong division in 2nd Infantry, but just couldn't keep up. 3,065 to 2140, Homeun. Showing his aggression is always hard to stop. Dude is hard to stop. Tiger, my goodness. Yeah, these heavy tanks did a lot of work, actually. Yay, Tiger. I still think they should get buffed. Yep, I know they look amazing here, but I still think they should get buffed. Go ahead and increase the price by 5 or 10 points. That's what it takes. But I still think it's buffed. If you guys enjoyed that, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and consider checking out the Patreon link down below along with my new website, attackpowergaming.com. Thanks a bunch, guys, and have a fantastic day.